So, I'm going to do something really stupid. This is Thanos. He doesn't really need an introduction. And this is his Infinity Gauntlet. And yes, the Infinity Gauntlet can dust half the population. But it can do more than just that. You can use a Time Stone to slow people down. You can use the Power Stone to send them flying. In fact, he can use every stone's ability. And that's not all. When you take control of Thanos, you can use all those abilities yourself. The Time Stone, the Soul Stone, the Power Stone. Honestly, it's a lot of fun walking around decimating armies with this lovely Infinity Gauntlet. Almost as much fun as hitting the subscribe button, which apparently only 14% of you do. Seriously, why is this number going backwards? What is wrong? On the other hand, this is Saitama, and he's as powerful as you can imagine. He comes complete with super speed, he has a super serious punch, he can use consecutive normal punches, and all in all, when you take control of him, he is an absolute menace. I mean, look at that poor little squire over there. Let's go and give him a spit, uh, spit, spit. No, that one? Just a punch? <laughs> That's what a uh, One Punch Man can do. But what happens when I combine these two? Like Vegeta and Goku doing a fusion. What if I give Saitama the Infinity Gauntlet? To do that, we're going to have to create our own One Punch Man. And here I have the basic outlook. He has his red boots. He has his yellow jumpsuit, his belt and his red gloves, his white cape, and his beautiful bald head. And luckily, I'm pretty sure we can give him Saitama powers. Or maybe not. They seem to be removed. Even checking these extra Saitama units from the workshop, none of them have the OG ability. I honestly think they're just gone. However, there is one thing that is not gone if you go into the weapons and you look around through here you can find all sorts of modern things including a literal christmas tree or wolverine claws or thanos's giant sword but more importantly thanos's infinity gauntlet oh and we're gonna manually set his points to like 21 <laughs> and now we need to test him here is our one punch man saitama with an infinity gauntlet apparently possessing the infinity gauntlet makes you a little bit lazy saitama can get back to his 100 push-ups 100 setups and all that jazz let's let him do his own thing and see how well this works Saitama walks forward, and there's the dust. The gauntlet works beautifully. There's the time stop ability. Saitama with the power stone launched himself into the air. And there is another infinity stone causing all sorts of damage. Actually, it's probably the space stone teleporting him around. Yeah, Saitama is a little bit more powerful now. No more sleeping on the job. I have a plan. Did you just summon a meteor storm from the sky? Okay, I got something else I want to test. Just going to take Saitama and put him down over here. And then we'll grab our little army of things to play with. Now, I'm going to take over Saitama and we're going to use our space ability. There's the snap. Oh, and then here comes... Uh, is it the soul stone? Oh, I could just spit! <laughs> oh, it's so gross! Oh, Saitama has never been so powerful. The time stone. I can just continue to go through all these abilities over and over and over again. That's quite the explosive power. Well, now that we have a 21 point Saitama, I want to take him through a campaign. I've been having a bit of a problem with this map. Uh, that is until I grab my Saitama worth 21 whopping points. I mean, look, look at the size of his army. I was never able to beat this in a normal way. But now Saitama is going to have some fun. And by Saitama, I mean me. Everybody gets snapped. I, I just, I, my legs are stuck. <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, I'm free. Get these snakes off of me. Oh, I just keep being teleported off the map. What just happened to me? I find them. We're going to let Saitama do his own work. Oh, that's fantastic. But where did he go? Oh, he's back here. He's being teleported around the map by something. Maybe some sort of Egyptian unit is doing that. But apparently having just the, the, the Infinity Gauntlet isn't enough. Part of me wishes I could have added the, the One Punch Man abilities, though the Meteor Swarm does help a ton. Okay, now apparently Saitama's so over here in this pink cloud. I uh, guess the One Punch Man is somewhere in this pile. Somewhere over. There he is. You are one hard person to keep an eye on, not gonna lie. Time Stone, Power Stone, Soul Stone, all of these abilities going off one by one by one. And Saitama just pink dust all of these units and sure enough as long as i'm not knocked off the map i live perfectly this is the most powerful saitama you've ever seen we're gonna have a little fun with our friend larry for those of you who don't know who larry is this is our boy right here he is our best friend he is our main man if this was a wedding he would be your best man larry is one of our favorite units here in tabs and we're gonna turn him into a god. Now, how in the world are we going to turn Larry into a god? I am so glad you asked. Luckily, using this little unit creator over here, we can take this amazing mod created by none other than Midnight Gal and edit Larry and give him all the god powers wow. we could ever want. Let's start off by picking our potion seller right here. Here's uh, Larry in 
all of his glory. And we'll mosey on down here to the edit button and just give it a click. Now, some what on what happened to your face? Larry, are you okay? What happened to your face? I didn't do anything yet. This not me. Somebody ripped off Larry's face. This feels like a scene out of Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> so let's start by naming him Larry, right? L A R R Y. Larry to gods. Wow. Larry to gods. Larry, Larry, he's our man. If he can do it, great. What do we do to you to make you into a god? Well, I don't know about you. When I think of a god, I think of somebody who can fly. I mean, there's no god in this game that can just sit there on the ground, so we're going to give him a combat move, and we're going to give him the hover ability. And we'll just start there, and let's go take a look and see how this looks. Let's just move on over to uh, to god Larry and take a look. Let's put a little clip right there, and I want to take a look at Larry, who is now hovering off the ground. I couldn't be happier, but there is still something horribly, disgustingly wrong with his face. We need to give Larry, like, a face mask or something. All right, we gotta do something with his face. It's just really uncomfortable. CP, potion, cellar, head. No, we don't want to have a head. Oh, <laughs> the hobo hair. I love hobo hair. You know what? We're gonna keep the hobo hair. Now we give him some clothes. Glowing white god hair. Sounds good. He needs godly clothes. Something epic. Hmm, do we give him a gown? That's a great question. Oh, a Zeus outfit. Yeah, that's perfect. Six and a half hours later. Here we are in the ancient sandbox, and we're gonna go over here and grab onto the god Larry. And I just wanna see him in all of his glory. I wanna zoom in. I want him to glow white like the heavens themselves with some golden accents. And guys, that is exactly what we're getting. Now, the golden accents are not quite golden enough. They look pretty good. And he's floating there. He's looking particularly godly. I think the belt and the arm guards and the shoulder piece, a little bit more dark and not so light orange. But he's coming along nicely, guys. Mm, that's a little bit better, a little bit more glowy, very godly, very divine. Now let's work on his uh, superpowers. Oh, ho, ho. It is time to have a little bit of fun with Larry's superpowers. First and foremost, weapons. Larry doesn't need potions. Larry needs godly weapons. So first and foremost, he's going to throw thunderbolts because you got to throw some thunder as a god. And maybe he wields a tree sword. That's, that's, uh, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't I don't see the tree sword. Let's check. Does Larry the god have a tree sword? He, <laughs> he has a tree sword. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can I just make Larry dual wield tree swords? Because why not? <laughs> Is he going to be an earthly god? <laughs> I gotta, hold on, hold on. Fight this halfling, please. Oh, uh, we're just gonna throw a lighting at the halfling. I wanna see you smack something with a tree sword. <laughs> okay, okay, let's fix this. I'm not feeling Larry as the tree god, okay? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna change this. So I gave Larry an interesting attack, and there it is. He actually shoots watchers out of his hands, but he wasn't aiming at enemies. Come on, shoot the watcher. Another quick test. I made it a bit closer. No, he shoots the watches straight down. That's not quite right. Not godly enough. I have to be honest, designing a god like this is a ton of fun. I am having, like, I'm like a child in a toy store. I've had so many options here. This is so cool. You know, I think a giant punch, in case anything ever gets close, seems to make the most sense for me. And the scale is 1.29. If I increase that, will he punch more? Now, first and foremost, let's um increase his HP by... A lot, because he is a god. His size multiplier, we're going to make him three times bigger, because he's a god who's got to be a bit imposing. And movement speed multiplier, we'll start, we'll start with a 10. Okay, we're going to start there. It might go more. I'll have to wait and see. Block everything. Oh, that sounds really good. Cavalry charge. Ooh, I want him to charge in a cop. That sounds fantastic. Fog? No, no, I want to be able to see the fight. Night charge. And Minotaur charge. I want him, like, literally charging around the field like crazy. I mean, he's a god. Projectile dodge painter anything he can't dodge he's gonna block does he need a shout does he need a knockback yeah you know what? We're, we're gonna let the god scream like a god and if we don't feel like his uh flight is enough we'll give him wings but that's later okay i think that's really good for combat moves okay let's go with our first fight involving larry to god or to god larry he is now three times as tall as a regular mortal which for me kind of feels fitting, glowing, beautiful like a god. I'm very excited to try this guy out. And to start, we're gonna just grab a handful of clubbers. 
and see how this goes. So he does charge in and he does have a lot of movement speed throwing that lightning. I want to see him try and get in there. There's the shout. I want to get in there and I want to punch stuff. The lightning is fun. There's a shout. I want the punch. The massive giant punch. You have a fist of fury. I wish I could like increase the attack speed. I wish I could increase his attack amount, the amount of damage he has. I wish I could make him throw a whole bunch more lightning. I wish I could power him up even more in this regard. But so far, it's not bad. Let's keep tweaking it. Larry, 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 I gotta be honest, I'm not feeling the lightning. That does not seem fun at all. We're going to do two giant punches, and I'm also going to do the giant slam. Where is it? And we're going to remove the night charge. I think that that's going to do like a flyby. We don't want him to fly by. We want him to charge in and keep fighting. So instead of those horse ones that I meant for jousting, we're going to do things like jump Thor and jump Wolverine. I want him to get in. We're also going to remove shout. No need on that. Remove shout. I want him in there, punching stuff, having a good time. Also hovering and blocking. And we're going to do all that jazz. Here we go. Can we make the amazing god Larry get in there and beat up on these guys and punch the ground? The shout is still there. Okay, there's the foot stomp. That's great. But why is the shout still there? I thought I deleted it. So he seems to be doing a whole lot of the foot stomping, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of giant punches. Maybe it's because he's floating that he can't giant punch. This foot stomp is great. That is exactly what I want to do as a giant god. But I don't want the shout. How do I fix that? Okay, this time I think I've successfully removed the shout. Let's get Larry down. Let's get some enemies down. And he's hovering. No shout so far. He's still in the combat. I'm starting to see some of those ground pounds. That's what I want to see. I want to see ground pounds. I want to see flips. I want to see the god Larry is doing damage to massive armies. Now, I don't have access to his attack modifiers, though that was a pretty good attack. If I had access to his attack modifiers, I can make the explosions bigger. I can make the punches do more damage. I can do a lot of really cool things like that, but I don't have access uh, to those kinds of statistics. I just deleted Larry. Fear not. I have a backup right here. Now, this whole scale thing for the punches. What happens if I take the scale and I just, right? Click this and I go, scale of 10, right? And whatever this factor is, I'll make it a scale of 10. And all of these parameters i don't even know what the parameters do but we're gonna make them scales of 10. do you think this is a great idea is this gonna make his punches bigger i have no idea but we're gonna find out the hard way now i'm a little worried about what's gonna happen with my god with a larger scale punch just take some squires and we're gonna see what happens if the punch is actually technically Larger. I don't think it's technically larger. Why is punching up here in the sky? Is that what the scale does? I wanted a really big punch. Now, you notice that the punches are actually above the ground. Yeah, see that? They're not actually getting down to the ground. So the scale doesn't make them bigger, brings them off the ground. Interesting. Let's have a little bit of fun with our god Larry now, shall we? We're going to drop Larry here on the field right there. And we're also going to drop down a bunch of archers. He's supposed to have an amazing deflectability. Let's find out. And sure enough, he's able to block everything. Though he does like fly around the field like crazy with his weird glide. So what if I remove the hover and made him just run? Do you think he'll function better? Do you think he'll punch the ground better? I think he will. I'm loving Larry. He's going along nicely. But we need to step it up because he's just kind of going crazy ladies and gentlemen larry no longer hovers we're gonna drop him on the ground he's gonna fight and it's gonna be fantastic and the thing he's gonna fight is actually a bunch of zeus our god larry versus their god zeus and he <laughs> charged him and <laughs> he's on the ground and larry can't get up oh larry your legs what's wrong with him is it because you're too big oh there he goes Larry, this is not how a god's supposed to operate. You've got legs, you've got limbs, you can walk. Now you're seeing a lot more punches, which is good. That's what I wanted. I wanted Larry to come in here and just dominate units kind of like this. But he's not graceful in the slightest. Boom, and he's not that Zeus on his butt, and he kicked that Zeus down. Larry is not, not a graceful. He's no ballerina. He's no ballet dancer. He's, he's, um... He's a special boy, guys. However, Larry is more powerful than all these Zeus's. It's only a matter of time until he finally connects on a Zeus. 
You, you're gonna finish him, bud? <laughs> Anytime now. There we go. He's done. Maybe Larry's too big. Maybe we need to shrink him. Maybe we need to make Larry actually smaller. 0.5. Give him a mass of 5. A movement speed multiplier of 20. Let's speed Larry up, shrink him down, and see what he can do. Let's grab a little Larry. Oh, there he is. He's so tiny. And Larry's going to fight a bunch of mammoths. As you can see, Larry is now tiny. He flopped over. Oh my god, where'd he go? Okay, so I gave him that times 20 speed multiply. There he is, in the sky. Kind of doing his own thing. There you are, Larry. Can you, uh, put a punch down on these guys? <laughs> he's like, actually, he's like climbing up their snouts, climbing up their trunks, getting in there, doing the giant punches. Remember, he does have the two giant punches as well. Ho, 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 ho! Larry! Larry, Larry, Larry. Guys, by increasing his mass, did I increase his punching power? That's a question that I have. Oh my god, he just dive bombed, landed on that mammoth, and punched him out. Okay, let's try and increase his mass a bit more. The size is perfect. The speed could go up even just a bit more times 30, and the mass, let's make it 10. Here we go, dropping to God Larry, and then Larry is gonna fight a whole bunch of kings. Larry's speed is times 30. His speed seems to be a bit too much. He's in there, and he's doing some damage. I think his mask makes him heavier and not knocked around as much. He is fighting all of these gods. He's in there, the little glowing ball of fury. In there fighting all the kings. I wish, again, I wish I could up his damage, up his explosion radius, and make him actually able to just one-shot stuff like some of the other amazing modders have been able to accomplish with different means of modding. And why didn't I think of this sooner? This fight's not even fair. How about like 30 Larrys jumping in and fighting all these giants? Look at them all. Look at all their little feet just bouncing around in there. All the punches going crazy. Now, if I could, again, increase their damage or the knockback, you would see ice giants go flying almost as if they were a one punch man, but instead we have to actually just kind of chill as the little Larrys just destroy each and every one of these ice shines, it's so powerful. <laughs> He's so strong. There we go. That's all she wrote. Little Larry is victorious because he's, um, he's a god. You can't call something the impossible campaign and not expect me to want to destroy it. I mean, take a look at these level names. Impossible. Impossible Battle 2. Try me. Impossible Battle 3. Now, those names aren't bad, but check these out. You cheater. How are you on this level? Exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark. You cheater, LOL, all in caps. Okay, now I am sure you can't do anything. Or how about this one? Wow, nice cheating, and you are so bad at tabs. Yeah, we're gonna beat this level. Okay, what am I looking at here? What on earth am I looking at here? Wait, are we the red team? How is this supposed to be impossible? Look at these massive units. Look at all these minotaurs, and we're fighting a bunch of hobbits and a handful of like ninja grandmasters? Why is this impossible? And also, what do you mean I can't put Larry on the battlefield? I have the feeling that there's more than meets the eye to this level. Let's start the fight. In go the Minotaurs. We are team red versus team blue. And these guys are giving us a bit of an issue. So I'm just gonna come over and be like, hey there boys. What if I've got, oh, oh, oh my God. How did the cave? No, none of that. None of that's allowed. Oh, oh, I see how it was impossible. Those blue guys would have done short work to all my units. But instead, uh, you've got the power of God on your side. This level is not impossible. This level is barely even remotely hard. So now we actually have a real battle. We get to put Larry on the battlefield. Larry, how you doing, buddy? I'm sorry I couldn't get you in the last battle, but um, somebody interrupted us. All right, Larry, buddy, what are we looking at? today we seem to have a whole bunch of dragon units a handful of samurai some ninjas some samurai giants watches oh monkey king there's a lot going on here guys let's see if we can give larry a hand shall we larry i just want you to know god is on your side that was awesome
Larry is the single most powerful unit in the game, strictly because we're here. Welcome to Try Me Impossible Battle number three, a whole boatload of Minotaurs. And I can't choose Larry. So instead, we're going to choose Manny the Mammoth. Don't worry, Manny. You're not going to have to face all these Minotaurs on your own. A beautiful line of Minotaurs. A beautiful line of ballistas. Some of these Minotaurs seem like they just kind of don't care. Some of them seem a little bit horrified. Some of them kind of look like they want to make out. <laughs> Some of them look like this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Manny the Mammoth, followed by our guard powers versus all these Minotaurs in three, two, one, go. Good night. Who's alive? How is a single Minotaur still alive? I don't know what's happening. We're just kind of following along with Manny here as he goes and chases after something. Manny seems to be going in this direction, so let's go take a look. Guys, I don't know what Manny's chasing. Oh! Oh! Hello! What are you three doing up here sitting down, relaxing, chillaxing, just kind of chilling like villains? You get some ballista bolts, and you get some ballista bolts, and then this guy over here in the back, you get some ballista bolts. I can see why this fight's impossible. Ah! Uh. Oh, I can actually miss this guy. Sorry. There we go. See? God powers. It was the only way. How on earth could a normal unit actually reach those three guys? This level is called How Are You On This Level Impossible Battle 4. And I still can't choose Larry. What I can do is Minnie. Minnie the Minotaur. Take a look at Minnie the Minotaur, ladies and gentlemen. Minnie is a female Minotaur. Don't ask questions. Female Minotaur. And Minnie is going to be fighting... Oh, what happened to your eye? You got a bit of a lazy eye there, buddy, right? Are you looking at me or are you looking at the sky? So how do we defeat all of these giants? Let's start the fight by removing the giants from the equation. <laughs> oh god, oh god, Mini decided to go into combat. We need to save Mini pronto. See, when you just don't care and you want to make sure everyone dies, this is what you do <laughs> with ballista bolts. Who on earth is still alive? What's Mini chasing right now? Mini? <laughs> Why is that in the crowd? See, boys and girls, these levels, not impossible. This level is called You Cheater. Lol. Impossible 5. Hey, our boy Larry in the back. Don't worry, Larry. <laughs> We're going to take... Oh, I can't. I actually can't change anything about this fight. It's one ice giant versus all these units. How on earth is anyone supposed to beat this? They can't summon more units. All they have is one ice giant and all of these units as enemies. This is physically impossible, but not for a god. This had better work. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's still a handful of people alive. Okay, all right, pause, 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 pause. We gotta do this right, right guys? It's funny, I always start with different spells, but I always end up coming back to the ballista because it's just so freakishly powerful. And here we are, moving around the enemies, pausing time like a god, just having a little fun. And this poor guy. And this poor guy. And this poor guy. And this poor guy. Ballista bolts. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Okay, now I am sure you can't do anything. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a blue guy here. And I can't summon anything. Guys, how? What is this? Did this guy build for me an actually impossible fight? I have one point. I can only summon a bard. This fight's physically impossible. Now that we've put that impossible map behind us, that actually physically impossible because the dude's a cheater, we're going to help Larry against his new nemesis. That should do the trick. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, this poor guy. Oh, those poor units. I'm so mean. Okay, this time we're going to give these guys a fighting chance. And I'm just going to do something like this. <laughs> Actually, let them have a possibility of getting close enough to fight Larry. Larry, it's all you, buddy. It's all you. I've got faith in you, Larry. Don't let me down now, bud. Come on. This is taking a while. Let's put this guy in his misery, okay? All right, you want to go off the edge? Is that where you're going? Here, have a little bit of fun off the edge. Where'd he go? You know, 
Add a thought, Larry. Can you... Solo. An ice giant? Do you want to find out, Larry? All right, just to make this ice giant fight possible, from him over here to this here musketeer, and then over here to this here musketeer. Like that. And now there's just Larry versus the ice giant. I'm gonna help a little bit. I'm gonna slow him down. Slow down. Get, get confused. I'm trying to help Larry, but Larry can't seem to confuse his ice giants. I'm gonna make him nice and frozen. Frozen ice giant. Who would have thought? On the flip side, these arrows. I was gonna say these arrows are probably gonna kill him. Sorry, dude. Ooh, this one's called the finale. Don't worry, Larry. I've got your back. <laughs> Brum. Oh, the firework arrows are way too much fun. Whoop. <laughs> Guys, if you have not used the God Power mod, no, 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 no. You can. <gasps> you killed Larry. Nobody. And I mean, nobody kills Larry. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, it's almost like a nuclear explosion went off in there. Oh my goodness. What is it about all these impossible levels that give you these giant armies and then expect you to defeat an even more powerful army? But these silly mammoths and spear throwers don't understand one thing. These girls have the power of God on their side. Let's give the boulder people a bunch of boulders. How about some bone spells into these piles? How about a whole bunch of potions over into all these people? These guys get some arrow shots. Ballistas for the mammoths because nothing makes me more happy than seeing mammoths go flying. And maybe in the back over here, we will do some Zeus lightning bolts just in case. Ladies, behold the power of God. <laughs> oh my God. We just wiped out pretty much that entire army and now, our lovely ladies can get to work and do their job. Yeah, that was a little unfair. Ooh, what do we have here? Seems like we have no army on our side and they have an army on their side. Oh, 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 Larry. Don't worry, Larry. I've got your back. You know, Larry, usually when I do the god powers, I don't make them very realistic. So why don't we have the power of Zeus come down from the heavens and smite the usurpers? Is that something you would like to see, Mr. Larry? The only problem with the strategy is I'm not sure if I'm even going to hit something. Yo, if that is not enough to kill this army, I don't know what is. Okay, Larry, this is the voice of God. I just want you to know that I'm on your side. <laughs> not enough. We didn't hit everything, guys. So what we're going to do is... Oh, yo, yo, what? Hold on. Hold on, where did these guys come from? They're on my side the whole time? Does that mean the blue side has a secret army somewhere? Oh, I did not know those guys were there. Talk about secret reinforcements. Larry, that, that I, I didn't do that. I know I'm supposed to be your god and all that jazz, but those guys aren't me. Someone else is helping you. What do we have here? Heathens, trying to kill my clergy. Become my children for, oh my god, hold on. <gasps> what? Okay, guys, I came here to save all my priests, but lurking in the trees are a bunch of Zeus and a random tree giant. Yo, I did not expect this at all. Do I even, like, need to help? You know what? For the sake of fun, I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to let the Zeuses do all the work. Like... I thought this was supposed to be impossible. Now this tree giant has a bajillion healers on him. <laughs> and there's nothing going to kill that tree giant. Um, can somebody explain to me how I'm supposed to use my god powers to help when I'm not needed? This is more like it. Take a look at this army right here. This is phenomenal. And I cannot summon my potion cells, so I will summon my clergy. And again, this time... This time, I will protect my clergy from the evil attackers. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a bunch of firework arrows just like this and aim them in towards all the shield guys because we're jerks like that. Hit up the ballistas with some ho watches. Hit up this ballista with some ho watches. We're going to give Zeus a little ride into the sky like that. Though that many arrows, that might kill Zeus. These guys are going to get musket. 
right into the face, just musket bullets. And then how about some Da Vinci balls right into the pile of people right there? That was good. The power of God to protect the priesthood in three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the explosion afterward was the best. Oh, there's archers. There's not are there Artemises? This challenge said impossible. Why are there Artemises? It's supposed to be my job to win. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I have zero points. So you mean something I can just summon any number of these things? How is this fair? I'm not even gonna do anything. The power of God is not needed because all of these Jarls are going to make short work of this impossible map. God powers? Using my God powers? No, this time I just summoned 3,000 Jarls and these guys are going to do all the work. Yep, just me, God, over here, not doing a whole lot. And the Jarls are coming in on the Frost Archers and this is all she wrote because I not even needed one second, one second. I refuse, refuse to go out this way. Oh no, but Mr. God, sir, won't this be friendly fire? Won't you make poison and potions on your own teammates? Yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> uh, it was worth it. The impossible dynasty level. Let's just make one little monkey king. Let's shoot some arrows. Over there at all those little monks. Come here, little monks. Sorry, you, Mr. Monk. Nope. Uh, this guy right here and there's a whole bunch of nearly dead things over here and that's not impossible <laughs> wait <laughs> wait I, all i got is hawatches that's all i could do <laughs> how is anybody ever supposed to beat this level all right we have one oh there's not just watches what are you ladies doing over there sneaky 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 and there's cheerleaders I love whoever designed this level. Like, look over here, these guys. Hawatches go. No, 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 no. Horse guy. Get away from the Hawatches. We have a machine gun Hawatch over here. God is completely not needed again as the machine gun Hawatches rain death from above and completely slaughter the blue ranks. Where are we shooting? Oh. Oh, look up here. Don't worry. God is here to help. God is here to assist you. And that's everything. Okay.